um, but how God determined the times and places. Um, and then when I was, um, I was always kind of with my brothers when things happened. But it was like, <laughs> I was about 2006, I was outside, it was late at night, and I remember um, being outside with my brothers and his friends, and there was this, it was late at night, and I was talking to my brothers, and I was just like, hey, like, whatever I was talking about. And then they were just like, hey, don't move. And so I didn't move, and um, I remember my brother was coming, and they came with a shovel, and they chopped off, chopped off a snake's head because it was wrapped around my legs. And I just thought, man, God determines the times and places. Wow. And um, so in 2000, um, and about six, um, I remember being in a car, um, driving um, with a friend, and we were on the highway, and um, there was a diesel truck in back of us. And um, the diesel truck fell asleep, and um, we were in an S10, which is a small truck, and it literally um, smashed and hit our car, and our car went spinning, and um, the diesel truck driver woke back up, and it hit us again, and our car went into like a ditch. Um, but the windows, uh, my head went back, and it busted and hit the window in the back, and um, I just remember looking at the, the driver and his head, like blood was just coming all out of his head and just thinking, man, how did we get here? And um, just thinking how God determined the times and places. Um, and then in 2013, just remember leaving, um, just thinking, feeling at my weakest point and like, what is, what's going on? Like, what is God doing? Um, and I went to San Francisco and there was that by, um, disciples or just people that were willing just to study the Bible with me and teach me what the word of God is and this scripture always comes to mind is Acts 17 verse 26 and it says for one that he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth and he marked out their appointed times and histories and the boundaries of their lands God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him though he is not far from any one of us for in him we live and move and have our being, as some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. And just real, looking at it, how God always determined the times and places in my life, and even when it was the hardest, or even when it was the, the joyous moments, that I can still trust God. And I think about Jesus when he was on the cross, um, and even just how he still fully trusted God, even in that moment when he was knelt to the cross and he was enduring so much pain that he still trusted God even in that moment and you also get to see even God's faith that God didn't even come down there was no fear he didn't try to pull him off the cross he still showed his faith that you know what I'm still going to give my son for us and that is so much trust and so much faith so for me right now what the cross means is just trusting God that God determines the times and places, whether good or bad, that God ha always has my back and he will always come to my rescue. And if, even if you don't, I still trust God. So that's what the trip cost me to me. Thank you.